question one then. The first question in the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 1. Just a little three mark question, and so are the rest here to begin with. Determine the equation of a line perpendicular to this one, but passing through that point. Well, it's determine the equation of a line. You want the equation of a line. You need to know two things on it. You either need to know two points. You can fix a line if you know two points, because you can work out the gradient, and you know one of the points. Or if you know one of the points, you can get the equation of the line. If you know the gradient, either because you've been told, because that'll fix its direction, or because you've got a comparison line. Here's a comparison line. It'll have the same gradient as this if it's meant to be parallel. It'll have the negative of the reciprocal if it's meant to be perpendicular. Whatever the gradient of this line is, however many are long and up, if you want a perpendicular line, you turn it through 90 degrees. Turn it through 90 degrees, and those distances, the along now becomes a down, and the up becomes an along. Still got the same numbers, but the opposite way around. And obviously, if that's positive, that's negative, and vice versa. So, the first step's going to be, what's the gradient of this line? No, it's not the 5. You don't go straight for the coefficient of x. It's only the coefficient of x if it's in the form of y equals mx plus c. So get it into the form of y equals mx plus c. Put the 5x across. It'll go across as a minus 5x. Now divide everything by 2. So it'll be minus 5 upon 2x plus 7 upon 2, which you're not really interested in. That's the bit you're interested in. What's the coefficient of x? It's negative 5 upon 2. The gradient of this line, which I'll call m1 because it's the first line there, is negative 5 upon 2. Doing that gets the first mark. Now, if the line's meant to be parallel, it'll have the same gradient. If it's meant to be perpendicular, it'll have the negative of the reciprocal. You could put that down as a statement if you like. m1 times the perpendicular gradient must multiply to give negative 1. So that means that the perpendicular gradient will be the negative, which is positive, of the reciprocal, which is two-fifths. Doing that gets a mark. Now you've got all the information you need for the line. You've got a point to fix it, and you've got the direction, the gradient, to fix it in the correct direction. Well, there's two ways you could find the equation. You could use y equals mx plus c, like this. Or you could use y minus b equals mx minus a, which is, of course, just the gradient equation rearranged. The gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Difference in the x's, differences in the y's. And if you take this across and multiply, right all backwards here, of course, then there you are. y minus b is mx minus a. So I'll probably use that one first y minus b is mx minus a, and I'll just restate what these are. m is two-fifths, and the a and the b come from the point that you've got, negative one-six, the x being the a and the six being the b. Feed it in. y minus, and you shouldn't really get them wrong because it's y minus the y-coordinate, x minus the x-coordinate, like the gradient. y minus the six is the gradient, two-fifths, of x minus the x coordinate, that's the a, negative 1. Keep that safely in a wee bracket there so you don't get your signs confused. Now the next part would be, I'd really, really want that fraction, so take it across and multiply. 5y minus 30, so taking the 5 across and multiplying everything in that side, that leaves a 2 to multiply everything on this side. 2 times the x, negative, negative, plus 2 ones are 2. And then finally, 5y equals 2x. Put the 30 across to join the 2 for the constant part. 32, that gets the mark. Now, if you wished, you could put that into any form you want. You could have it in the form of xy equals number. So starting from this side and looking that way, 2x, bring the 5 over to join it, minus 5y would equal Put the 32 across, minus 32, or you could put it all across. 2x minus 5y plus 32 equals 0. But that does. Now, the alternative would have been to use y equals mx plus c. So, 
here's the values here. So when y is 6, m is 2 fifths, x is negative 1. So you've got to figure out c. Well, it's all just arithmetic. Reading it this way, c will be 6, that's minus, bring it over, plus 2 fifths. So you could say 6 and 2 fifths if you wanted, or you could add it up together and say c equals, adding that into fifths, that'll be 30 fifths. 5, 6 is a 30 plus 2. 32.5, so y equals 2 fifths of x plus 32 upon 5. That would do as well. Or if you didn't like the fractions, you could take them across and you're back to here.